What's up, everybody? This is Livia and Tarka, and welcome back to another episode of Maze. Where we last left off, we got back up to the surface. We got this uh, this other gear half, and we kind of lost Vladdy. We he went on a tractor and he went on a joyride and killed a bunch of the Arsenti corn friends. And now he decided to work on the tractor for some reason. So we don't have our little buddy anymore. And we, uh, like I said, we picked up this uh, familiar gear half. And now we're just following along this path to see where this takes us. The sentient corn told us that the orange boxes will lead us to where we are. And it kind of looks like this is it. And that looks like the outline of our boom box. Thanks to those rad tunes, a new path open to you. Alright, so do we have Vladdy back? Because we just saw him driving the tractor. And we saw all, all of our sentient corn friends. Uh, maybe? Let's follow this path, because that's where those tire tracks are going. Hopefully, we will find Vladdy down this way. As long as I know where I'm going. Maybe I don't know where I'm going. Obviously I don't, because I just went the wrong the wrong way. Um, oh, that's a dead end. All of these corners, all of these turns make me think there's always like a split path going somewhere. So, now we're going back to the water... Hopefully I'm going the right way. Since I haven't ran into any orange boxes, I kind of assume I am. Do we see any sign of... Uh, this gate has crashed? Oh, there's Vladdy. And there's a problem? tractor. Stupid thing did jump. Next time, you drive! So, what dumb thing is next? Uh, there's this propane tank here. Oh. Oh, okay. What? That's it? All this pain and suffering for Vladdy, and you push the stupid thing into the water? Why you never say anything, idiot? You know, it's a miracle that Vladdy did this. Vladdy had no idea what he was doing. Vladdy not mechanic. Vladdy could barely reach pedals. All for what? <sighs> we should see where that stupid floating thing end up. Probably in place with all the water, because of course it would, because everything hates Vladdy! Vladdy is wondering why he decided to help you, but if you get into that boat, he'll still follow. You know, Vladdy, I'm asking myself that same question after... I tip that propane barrel in. I I really wonder the same thing. Uh, and we're back here. Doors open. Oh. Operate crane. There's our dude. Okay, we got WASD to move, escape to exit, and that to lower. Um, so I see these green lights up here. I assume that's where I'm trying to go. Well, let's go ahead. Um, I don't think I can do that because of this guy. And now he's gone? Is he still there? Is that him? That's still him. He's leaving me alone. I... Okay, I can't do anything. Uh, let's go check over there and see 
what we can do... Oh, what's this? Did we already read these? Uh, yeah, we already read those. Oh, an item can be placed here. That looks like our gears. And... Place familiar gear half on workbench. Alright, we can't do anything with those yet. I thought that was something. Oh, what's this? Use item item on security cream console. Fish muffin? Frame popcorn? Glue. Put some glue on crane console. So I'm assuming that it has nothing to do with the English muffin since we haven't used it yet, so. I kind of assume so. Stuck frame popcorn ad on uh, crane console. Now, can we uh, do this properly? Operate crane. Do something. Ha! Devour! No, 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 Yes. That was very stupid. Where are you? Yeah, that was a bit of an overreaction. Alright, now we can go ahead and do these green. So let's go over to this one first, because that's in the water. Um, oh. I have to figure out which way these these are, these are uh, up and down are going. So towards me. Then let's go left. And then towards me. And what do we get? we get the propane tank. Uh, now, I assume we're going to that other uh, green light. Uh, which way are we going? Okay, towards me. To the right. And then away from me. And now we drop it? I assume. Yeah. And I assume that's it. And, oh. No. Propane tank. Oh, connected propane tank to the, uh, ad, 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 torch. Click it. Oh, and we regeared the, uh, we, uh, um, yes. Which was a bit of an ordeal, to be fair. Yeah. But I remembered how to fix a security door. He's hoping to never, ever ask him. Dude, you got something to do. What? Vladdy already fixed, stupid door. Device pay on Pesnio. Stupid idiot makes Vladdy do everything. Crawling through. Ah! Oh! Idiot should be crawling through stupid. Ah! Oh! Stupid wires suffering all this. Oh! Ah! What's up, boy? You done your face, Alu. You done your loop, loop. Vladdy had enough. You stupid, dumb, idiot, American garbage. You. Of course, that Doors work. open. Because this is the stupidest, dumbest place there is. An idiot just stands there looking even more stupid. <sighs> now, what we do? Stupid. Well, the next thing we do. Is we take care of this gear. Um, orange boxes. I was that blocked off earlier? Like when they told us it had to be blocked off. Okay. Here's the thing. I don't know which way we're going. Um. Let's do this way. I th I think it's this way. I hope so. Please let luck be on my side. Oh, I was right. Thank goodness. Uh, place repaired gear, uh, gear in hook mechanism. And... Thank goodness. We did it. Why did we do this? Oh no, what now? Hello. Good to see you. You did a 
very good job. Yes. Very good. What did you do again? Press the button. Wow, we. Yes, that's very nice. We're supposed to send you a message. That's right. Yes, it's very important. What was it again? Do not free our queen. No, that doesn't sound right. Was it do free our queen? Probably. One or the other. Whatever the message was, that button pressing was very impressive. Oh, yes. Very. Oh, well, right, we should probably go. Yes, that would make sense. So what do we do now? Something productive. Another nap? Yes! That's the most productive thing I can think of. Vladdy do not know what worse. Idiot plants, the stupid ugly idiot plant, or you. No, Vladdy no. It is you. Idiot. A new path is open to you. It will take you approximately three seconds to see it. I assume it's this. Um, Bob, how is a one-way pneumatic tube at all useful? What part of order uh, elevators did you not understand? The stupid thing is expensive, completely useless death trap. Twit, cordially, Ted. Do we go in? Because all we have is an English muffin. Oh, button. Initiate descent. A new lobby. Another honorary lobby. Ooh. A vat room blueprint. And it's a folio. A blueprint for the room with all the vats near the facility entrance. It reveals that the vats contain hydrogen and oxygen in massive quantities, and they all feed to a central location. Essentially, it's a massive fuel source. But you're not interested in that as much as the notes on possible points of interest for a tour written by Bob. So we see we got two boring magic tricks, needs to be spiced up, and other scribbles. Oh, get out of here. All right. Follow the green line. Everything in this place is so stupid. Vladdy is questioning everything about this adventure. You know, Vladdy, I am too. Note. Bob, get your bulbous behind and feed your stupid fish. It took me all of last week to fill the, the dozens of stupid tanks in this dumb place. Cordially, Ted. And this is a painting. More notes. It's like a cartoon drawing. Bob, you twit, where is the hallway? I broke my nose running into the stupid painted wall. Cordially, Ted. Sorry, Ted, should have told you about that. I sold it for the scrap to, bought to pay for the lobbies. Oops. Bob. That's... Okay. That's a little purple spot. Why y'all dark? Uh, is this another... Broken console? Yes, why not? Another stupid door for Vladdy to fix. Idiot. I asked Vladdy to fix the broken console. Please fix it. I would like that. I would very much appreciate it. Good so boy. Vladdy know what to do. Just hit stupid thing until... The stupid place this is. Hey, look, it's a coffee trolley. Pause for applause. Okay, pause. Applause done. And this looks like it's undeveloped. A key card slot. I assume the English muffin does not go in there. I am correct. Bob, I'm not going to ask you again. Clean your own fish tanks. I lost all of July because of you, jerk. Cordially, Ted. Now, what else do we have down here? We have another hallway. I'm not pressing Q. I know it does nothing. I'm pressing it now. Can you hear it? There, nothing. Such a waste. Americans should be working on more important things like surviving winter or being less stupid. Okay, call coffee, Charlie. I can't do that. Time for coffee. Oh, a lot of notes. And we saw the thing drawing this earlier. And I'm just looking at this. It it looks like some 
calculus. Calculus uh, by sequences, at least right here. De definitely calculus right here with integrals. Um, more calc. All right, let's check these notes. A piece of tape. A well-known method to bypass fingerprint security scans in the facility was to pull a fingerprint in onto a piece of tape and put it over the scanner. The most popular room to breach was the fabled nap room, which unfortunately you never encounter on your journey. Let's see, a notification for a government audit. A very serious letter informing the heads of the facility that they will be the subject of a very thorough audit by the government in the near future. Judging by the uh, the amount, by the amount of no's written across the page, Ted did not take the news too lightly. Well, why can't I go further? I don't know. Bob, in the rare occurrence that you're actually done erecting statues of yourself, I would like to, I would like, I would just like to inform you that we are being audited, cordially, Ted. As in, how are we going to explain where all this money went, cordially, Ted? And why, and why there is talking corn all over the stupid facility, cordially, Ted. I knew I shouldn't have indulged you, you half you half-witted, stupid, narcissist, buffoonish, idiotic moron. You drove me to erect that stupid statue of myself. It was made of rare earth metals. It cost millions. Cordially, Ted. Hiya, Ted. Well, we're in a pickle, aren't we? Not to worry. I've got a couple more ideas up my sleeve. We'll make all this money back in a jiffy. Bob. For God's sake, Bob. No tours. No resorts. No casinos. Idiot. Cordially, Ted. Well, that was a roller coaster. Uh, let's just check these. Hi, it's Ted. I think we're onto something with my new batch of test corn. Pretty sure I saw one move. Uh, pretty sure I saw one moved the other day. Exciting, Bob. Bob, these are all carrots. You are an idiot, moron. Cordially, Ted. Uh, those are carrots. I don't know what that is. That's a potato. That's also a potato. What else do we have here? An old carpet. Add it to folio. Of course it's added to the folio. Effective at making any area you encounter feel more like home, though you will never be sure if it is, in fact, its original color scheme, or a pattern of stains left uh, behind, better left unknowable. The question remains on your mind for several days. I... okay, that's not on my mind. Now let's finish checking these counters. I assume... Bob was here because of this trash. Oh, another rock. A whimsical rock. Added folio. A rock that is subject to fly to fancy, unable to keep a thought in its head for more than a few moments without moving on to the next one. It is currently thinking of re-enrolling in college just as soon as it determines what a college is. You've named it, you've named it Jeeves. Well, we have another pet rock. Oh, biolab card. A very important key for a very important room. In fact, it's probably it'll probably be the third or fourth most important room you'll visit on your journey, not counting the very nice closet you spotted on the first floor. You think of that closet often in your quieter moments. Yes, I think of that closet a lot. I don't remember which closet you're talking about. Uh, what are these? Are those carrots? I know that's a carrot. Oh, what's this? Centrifuge. English muffin? Piece of tape? Buy a lab key? No. Anything in here we can centrifuge with? A half full vial. Maybe we, we put it in here? Centrifuge? Place item in centrifuge. Needs something else. Okay. Uh, let's double check the center counter. I, I don't see anything there. Uh, let's... You know, let's move on. See if we uh, we can find something else. I know we... Key fob slot. We don't have a key fob. Oh, here's another sticky note. 
Well, Bob, I hope you're happy. All of the fish are dead. I'm pointing this out in case you're wondering why the facility smells like a bad sushi restaurant. Dolt, Corsley, Ted. Here's a circular slot. We kind of saw that earlier. Hey, Ted, check out the new security measure added. Installed it in a few high security places. Sales of the single are going to go through the roof, Bob. Bob, you dummy, now everyone hates the song because they have to hear it 10 times a day, cordially Ted. And we have a cell control. Bob, I saw her talking to the isolated subject again. For a change, do something useful and make the security room more secure, dolt. Cordially Ted. Well done, you idiot. Now we're all locked out. And fix the lift, moron. Cordially Ted. Uh... Okay, can't do that yet. Let's... Is there anything we can do here? No. We saw that room earlier where we can use this biolab key. Biolab. That's not a biolab. Hi, Ted. Got some of the lyrics down during my shift. Think it's really going to be a hit? Bob. Bob, you wrote one line, you lazy slob. I'm doing the same until you smarten up. Cordially, Ted. Fingerprint scanner. Piece of tape? What, did we read this? Uh, yeah. Uh, we see there's a piece of tape there. Can we go up here? Please? Please? Please, no. A recording schedule. Add it to folio. Looks like this is the booking schedule for the facility recording studio. Most notable is that either neither of the founders seem to have occupied in the studio at the same time, except for a very brief two-minute interval once a week or so. According to famous rock band Logic, this should have made for ideal working conditions. Uh, I, yeah. Whoop. Get out of here. Ted, Ted, great news. Did some focus stud, uh, did some focus testing for the song, and guess what? It's a hit. The audience really had an ear for it. Haha. <laughs> Get it? Because of the corn. Bob. Stop playing around with the corn and get back into the studio. We have no time to waste, twit. Cordially, Ted. That's nothing. We have... Glitter and rhinestones. Packaging proclaims that these rhinestones and glitter can bedazzle even the most dazzling of items. You spend the next hour afterward wondering if it was a paradox, then the next three figuring out what a paradox is. More wasted time. Uh, a sheet of lyrics for a hit song. A blue pen. I live a life of a lonely man who's plagued by a brilliant mind. An imbecile for a right hand. And a prison I'm inside. The next three lines are in red pen. I need a girl who can understand the burdens of this life. Whose name will go after an abs uh, ambersand in whom I can confide. Bob, you musically illiterate halfwit. You cannot change the key 16 times in one song. I nearly passed out because of, of all of the shifts. Cordially, Ted. Got a drum set. That's, that's pretty decent. Except, oh, throne's knocked over. Alright, what have we got? A tom-tom drum. You did not think this was an instrument. Instead, you thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. I like, not sta I like standing on things. Oh, a piano covered in fingerprints. Piece of tape. Pulled Bob's fingerprint off of the keyboard. Even Bob's fingerprint looks like it was. It wants to sell you something cheaply made for a large profit. Used to bypass the extremely secure system the founders set up to make sure they were both present to view a new version of their single, a system which Bob got around easily. And we've got a fingerprint. And I thought I saw one more thing over here. We got these sticky notes here. 
Bob, despite your best efforts, I actually think this song is acceptable. Though I despise your presence with every fiber of my being, get down here so we can press a copy of the song. Moron, cordially Ted. And you had better deliver on those dis uh, distribution plans, dummy, cordially Ted. Hi, Ted. Whoops, looks like our cost overruns ate into our distribution budget. As in, it's gone. Sorry, shouldn't have made that power, uh, power ballad cover. That sure got expensive. Live and learn, Bob. What? Cordially Ted. Here's another one. I knew you stole my fingerprint, you glory hogging buffoon. Cordially Ted. A speaker. Added the folio. You mistook this for a peculiar animal and waited several hours for it to say something to you. When it didn't, you decided to take it. You now carry it over your head like a battle standard. Okay. A guitar stand. Again with garbage? These are all useless things you take, idiot. All right, having no interest in the guitars at the recording studio, you decide to take what you thought was a less complicated instrument and begin banging it against the wall. It's not very effective. Is that it for in here? It's a lot of drums. A lot of drums. Nothing. All right. That is it. So let's go ahead and do this fingerprint. Place Bob's fingerprint on the fingerprint scanner. And we got a button. Pressing hot single on new CD. Ooh. Top secret. New CD. Oh, that looked like just the one from uh, a couple episodes ago. Uh, when we had to get inside of the uh, facility. As this technology was so new at the time, each CD on the founder's pop single cost uh, several thousand dollars to press, which made this the most cost-efficient operation at the facility. Alright, so that is going to have to do it for this episode. We just got this new CD, and I know it looks like the one down at the end of the hallway. So, next episode, we are going to get into that room with the new CD, figure out, figure out what to do with the, the guitar stand, the tom-tom drum, and the glitter and rhinestones. Hopefully, we can do something with this English muffin. Otherwise, if you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more episodes of Maze. Otherwise, I will see you next time when we play Maze. Big, big.